Hey everyone! In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use DAL E3 via Microsoft Bing. DAL E is an image generator developed by OpenAI, and they've recently rolled out their version 3. Now you can access it on Bing.com through Bing Chat or Image Creator. Let's start with the first method generating images in Bing Chat. It's actually pretty straightforward. You don't need to craft any elaborate, lengthy text prompts to request image generation here. Just type in the chat box something like create an image of XYZ, and there you go. DAL E kicks into action generating your image. By default, in Bing Chat, each generation will present you with four images at once. You can hover over and click on these images to view them in their full glory. Now, let's move on to the second method of using DAL E3 on the Bing website. All you need to do is type in this URL, bing.com create, and the page will load up. The interface gives off a simple UI vibe somewhat reminiscent of Leonardo.ai. You won't find any checkpoint models or LoRa to choose from. Just type whatever you fancy in the text prompt area and hit the Create button. As you can see on the sidebar, you'll have a history of your own image generations displayed, including the AI images from your Bing chat history. Here's the quirky part. The official site generates two images each time, whereas Bing chat dishes out four. I tried to find if there was a setting to control the number of images, but no dice. As for image quality, well, it's decent. There's some detail in the images. They all come in at a standard size of 1024 by 1024 pixels. Just like SDXL by default. Now, on the sidebar, you can click on each entry in your history. It not only shows you the generated result, but also the text prompt that was used. You can click the Create button to whip up a fresh result right there. For instance, let's say you want a new set of cyberpunk city images. Just hit create and voila. Here's the new image, complete with some fine cityscape detail. But, to be honest, does it really live up to all the hype you might have heard on other YouTube videos? Well, sure, it's developed by uh, OpenAI, and there's a bit of a buzz around it. But using it doesn't quite give you that Gucci vibe, despite all the recent hype on various channels. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide if this is a nice to have addition to Bing or an absolute must-use tool every single day. That's a wrap for this straightforward tutorial on using DALI 3 with Bing. Until next time, catch you in the next video. Have a fantastic day, everyone.